Welcome everybody to another tutorial on Satisfactory. Today we're going to be covering vehicles and automation. Well, at least our little box of a vehicle here. This is what we're going to be covering today. How to set it up, how to set up your vehicle stations and get everything automated and good to go. It's actually rather easy, so this shouldn't be too complicated of a video. Uh, what we're going to do is actually set up one over here. We're going to pump some limestone into a station and then get the truck to go from one station to the other. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, now, I do have to fix this one myself here because I kind of messed it up at the end. But that was a good learning lesson. I'll show you guys what not to do as well when setting up the, uh, the truck that the truck goes along. Now, first things first, you want to make sure that you've gotten yourself to Tier 3 and that you've done your coal power mines milestone. Once you have that done, it gives you the tractor and the truck and also coal and a coal generator. Now, normally, the first place you want to set this up is a coal generator. You can add extra stops to it as you go along, so you can actually fill up several different places with one truck because even over here, where we look where the truck drops off, uh, this thing really doesn't use the coal at full blast. So even having this, Powering six is way more than good enough and this thing stays pretty full. It doesn't empty the truck every time So I could actually make another coal depository over there and have it feed into here Which would be much more useful than just building a, a random one. I'm gonna tear it down So that's what we're gonna do today then I'm gonna build another truck truck stop over here and we'll go over the basics then later on in my let's play, I'll tie it into there so we have more power. Uh, that way I'm not splitting off too much coal, and it looks cool too, having a couple extra stops. So I think my best option, uh, what you want to do is you want to take your truck station. Normally you're starting out by coal, so you want to get your coal going and uh, your coal factory. Just build a coal plant over there and get everything cycled so that it's producing coal, and then you can get it going into your truck station. Because you need one station that can fuel the truck every single time it goes around, because it needs fuel, and coal is a fuel. Now, if you have something at home that you can constantly feed it with, uh, go ahead and do that. But this one's picking up coal, and it's being fueled there. So the most important thing I always say is put down the foundation first and then build on that because with foundations you can snap two things and it doesn't get in the way. Now this truck path is actually in the way itself. We're gonna end up building this thing um, out here but I want it to line up with my buildings. So I'm gonna just bring it out like this and then get it built. You can build this platform any size you want. I, um, I think I'm gonna build it about three or four wide back and bring it out this way so that the truck drives out here. And then makes a stop at the second one. And we'll go uh, we'll go backwards here. Ugh. I can't interrupt the truck. Alright, so I've got my platform together. I like to go with just a basic uh, ramp up. This will be the loading area here. And then I can actually put the station here. Now where you'll find this, you'll unlock a menu called vehicles. And then of course you have your vehicle. We'll make that in a bit. And then you have your truck station. Now the truck station, you're going to need 5 rotors and 10 frames and 25 cables. Keep that in mind uh, before you go to build this. If you try to drive off to like your where your coal is, make sure you bring enough stuff to build this. What I usually do is stuff the back of the truck full with random building supplies. That way when I get over there, I build a personal storage, flip it all in the personal storage, and then I have some stuff sitting over there for repairs and expansions as I need it. But we're going to choose a truck here. Uh, now if you take a quick look, this little box is where it'll actually unload the truck so that's where the arm will come down and you want the arrows to be coming in the back just like that there we go let that sucker build and bang look at that truck station so it'll come up here you can tell the program it to come up here this will grab it throw it into here and you'll be good to go uh, now <clears throat> with this you have three different inputs uh, one is an in and one is an out and you have the fuel here. So just say this is a coal where you have coal coming out. You actually want to put the coal going into here and it'll auto refuel the truck um, with that fuel. So the next thing I want to do is I know this is going to be a loading or unloading station. You have to select it. That one there is unloading. Uh, the one over there is loading it up. And this one here is unloading it. So we want this one to unload it too, because of course we're not throwing anything into it. So it's already on unloading. There we are. Okay, so we're going to do our truck pathing actually right from the original source where it picks up the coal here. So this is actually where all my coal is coming in. And wow, I actually have the old conveyor belts here. 
I guess it doesn't need to be faster anyways. But this is where the coal is coming in. The coal's up there. The power plant's up there. The coal's feeding the power plant. The power plant's making power feeding this thing. So this thing will always go. But I have gone ahead and deleted both routes. Uh, you can simply do that if you already have one. You have to see this anyways. You simply do that by holding down C and going clear path and hawking on it. There you go, just like that. But we got to make a route now. So this is our start. I like to start right underneath where the loading bay is. And we're going to go start recording. There we go. Now that we're recording, you can look in the lower corner. It says that we're recording. And we're going to carefully drive all the way over to the other loading stations. Uh, now, what I also want to keep in mind when I'm doing this is that I have to drive underneath the other build. So I'm going to try to hit it dead on. But this will take me a minute to go around. Uh, quick tips. Don't go too fast, know where you're going, and try not to hit anything on the way there because it will do the exact same thing. If you hit a wall, it'll keep hitting that wall every single time around. And sometimes it doesn't adjust itself quite right. It takes a little while, and that could really throw off your production lines. Okay, so assuming you've made no navigational errors, you'll come to where you want this to unload. So just kind of carefully drive up here, and bam, it'll unload just like that. There we go, animation done. Come down around if you have another station you want to go to. Uh, go to that station or head directly back to the first one you came from. But for this one, we're actually going to go over here. I drove through the poison a little bit. Oh well, nothing like a little poison to brighten your day up. There we go, we'll come to this one. It uh, should do its um, animation, but we did not power this thing. That's something I should mention is to actually power them up or they won't load up. Uh, but we're going to go back over this way and complete the loop and we we'll, should be good to go. Okay, so now we're coming back up on that station. I'm going to slow down just a little bit so I have some control. And we're going to go up here and basically just loop right back around. Uh, now, depending on how you come in this way, you, you might not have to do this. But because of this station, I'm actually going to have to do a three-point turn. And come face back around this way, and we are completely, completely done. So we're going to go finish recording and hop off that sucker. Make sure she is fueled up. Everything is good to go with her. There we are. Awesome. Hop back on that tractor. And enable autopilot. Hop off of it, and it should be good to go. There she goes. So now what I would recommend is waiting and make sure it comes all the back all the way back around before heading back if it is in a long direction but because we got the other truck it's not too big of a deal uh now i'll show you guys this quickly so i have the the coal coming down feeding this one to fuel the truck and then feeding this as the actual storage we filled up a few trucks so it actually might take a second for this to refuel it and i'm kind of thinking i should come back eventually now that i have i'm filling two stations and make this a little bit faster with the conveyor belt. Uh, but I'm going to drive this truck back and make sure that it's stopping at both stations. I'm actually unsure if it'll continue on from an unpowered station, so we need to get that other uh, truck station powered up. Okay, here we go, and we're coming back, and the truck is leaving that station. So it doesn't look like you actually have to have the station powered for the truck to keep going. So it's made an actual complete loop almost. It has to just go back around to the other station. And I, uh, I trust it's going to do that. Now let's go ahead and get the station powered. And I will wait for this truck to go a couple cycles. And we should see when uh, that happens that this thing has um, uh, some supplies in it. And then I can go on to my Let's Play and make some more power for us. Pretty excited about this. And here comes back with the truck. Now, if something's at a distance, it actually shows a little bit of a slideshow. But once it gets just in viewing distance like that, it actually runs uh, pretty smoothly. Now, it has come all the way back around. So if we take a quick look at this, this should effortlessly, effortlessly head up to the other one. And hopefully I nailed it under here so that when I do build the power station, it's not too big of a hole. But it will be driving right underneath it. I think it'll look cool. Um, and the truck's coming back up this way, up there. It should only spend a brief second getting unloaded there. Oh yeah, there we go. Empty that sucker out. And it should come back down and go over to the other station. And get unloaded over there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. We have satisfaction. 
Now, this one actually might take a couple. Oh, no, only only took one. Nice. Okay. And off she goes. So we have uh, full truck automation. It's that easy. So I, I really do hope this video helped you guys out. I try to make it as compact as possible. But I always like to also accomplish things while making a tutorial so that you guys can see, like, the practical application of it. I do think it helps out a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at that. So it emptied out the truck, and now it's filling this thing up with coal. And because that thing, um, I emptied out a few trucks and wasted some coal and stuff, I'm going to let it build up before I attach this thing to that anyways. So there we go. We have another couple of coal drop-off. I hope you guys understand how to use and automate the trucks. Not hard at all. Um, like I said, just make sure that when you do draw your path, you know where you're going and you're confident with it. Don't be afraid to like undo it and then do it again if, if, you, if you make a mistake, right? Because uh, you'll get like... You'll learn the map so fast that way. Anyways, if this helped you guys, hit the like bit, uh, button on the video. That does help us. Uh, join us over on Discord if you'd like to join the conversation. And I'll see you in the next tutorial, video, let's play, or over there on Discord. Peace out, and have a good one, guys.